Hi guys, I'm going to start this video with just a quick disclaimer. Please don't repeat anything you see in this, it's just for educational purposes. And if you do, it's on your own head guys. Just take care, because these things will, can kill you instantly. They put out a lot of voltage at a lot of current. So uh, please, don't do this unless you absolutely know what you're doing. That said, this is obviously an inverter from a uh, new Panasonic microwave. And this is going to be the uh, way of the future, as it was with a switch mode power supply. At one time, uh, all power supplies had uh, transformers, or nearly all, and now they're all uh, virtually switch mode, and uh, microwaves are going down the same route. This is obviously a flyback configuration, and we know that for a fact because, it, for one, it only has one transistor, and two, it's got a massive gap in the uh, in the core of this uh, transformer. Obviously, an attempt to stop this saturating under high current. Uh, what a flyback actually means is basically when the uh, switch is on, the IGBT is switched on, no current is uh, passed forward through the diodes and it rectified. It's only rectified in the uh, reverse direction. So basically when the transistor turns off and the uh, voltage from the inductor springs back, that's when that's, re that's when the rectifier diodes are conduct and uh, pass the current. This is obviously a constant current supply. That's how uh, they stop it drawing too much current. So obviously a magnetron will uh, clamp its own it'll clamp the voltage and just draw excess current so uh, this has to be a constant current supply this is a high voltage output it's a negative high voltage obviously obviously these are two are designed for the filament and the negative output and this is ground the signals involved with this are 5 volt square wave it's a duty cycle of uh, I think you can run it right up to 80% but it has to start on uh, well, it really low I think it will like less than 30 I'm not sure but if you start it on a really small duty cycle it'll start uh, the way I do it is just apply the power to the AC connections which are here on the board and uh, I'll show you here and uh, just apply it and then just apply your signal after you've applied the, uh, the AC like I said there's a signal in 5 volts square wave ground and this is a feedback um, obviously telling the microwave that the board's all good now the board, you can't just leave this floating because the board knows and it'll assume it's uh, got a loose connection and it'll turn off. So what you have to do is you have to ground uh, the feedback through a 10k and uh, the, the board's happy and it still thinks it's connected to the microwave until the microwave it's all good. Um, there's not much more to say about this really. This is uh, just a demonstration to show this running but also obviously shows how to test these things. And uh, coincidentally when you power this up you don't even need to put anything on there, you can hear it running straight away. So. Uh, if it's just a yay or nay kind of uh, affair you're interested in, then uh, obviously uh, this is a quick way to test it. I'll just uh, pause and connect up some kind of load and we'll show this running. And then uh, I'll get it packed up and off uh, to where it's going to live, which is with a friend of mine. Right guys, back soon. Right guys, it's obviously running now. And um, if uh, you wanted to reconfigure this to have a positive output, then uh, simply switching the diode around won't actually won't actually solve that because with it being a flyback and like I said earlier, it actually uh, conducts on the uh, when on the release of the uh, inductor. So therefore, you'd have to actually reser reverse the uh, primary connections as well as the diodes to get the uh, a proper positive output. You can't just switch the diodes around on a flyback configuration. Could be a really useful power supply. This so I think it put out up to like a thousand watts in my way, So we're uh, like I say, currently, but also, and obviously, if it's done on a potentiometer, then obviously we can play with that and uh, change the settings by hacking that. Anyway, guys, like I say, anything you do is uh, at your own risk. Take care. Hope this will be useful to someone. Thanks. Speak soon.